More breaking news uh, coming in. Bombings in Kiev and Kharkiv continue. Now, this is about uh, Russian-Ukraine talks uh, uh, that are set to take place and the fierce battle really continues. Putin, in fact, has put nuke forces on high alert and... Uh, the, uh, Springboard Belarus will also be turning a battle ally is something that we've been bringing to you since morning as reports suggest that Belarus will be preparing to deploy more troops in Ukraine and Belarus will be sending these soldiers into Ukraine to as a ally help to Russia. Belarusian troops will be assisting Russia and the troop deployment could begin as early as today. My colleague Srinjoy Chaudhary joins me on the broadcast. Srinjoy, very, very important development coming in from Russia and Ukraine, even as the battle uh, continues. In fact, uh, there are more and more uh, firing that is being reported early this morning also from Ukraine, and especially from the capital city of Kiev. So this is something right ahead of the peace talks that could possibly have taken place. Now we hear of uh, Belarus also joining forces with Russia. Yes, undoubtedly, it's a very worrying situation. As it is, there are enough Russian troops in the Ukraine, particularly in the Kiev area, and the Russian troops are very close to Kiev. Now, on the other hand, you will have the Belarusian troops coming in, even while talks are going on between Ukraine and Russia in Belarus. So it's a new development and a difficult situation already. We will have to see how it works out. But the important thing to remember is and hope for are these talks. Are these talks going to work out? That is the only hope now because the Russian tanks are close to Kiev. It's a civilian area. There are lots of women and children there. What happens? Let's hope these talks happen. Let's hope these talks are successful. That is the thing to look forward to. All right, uh, Shinjo, thank you.